All right, so we've looked at some theodicies that try to deal with this problem of moral evil. How is it that God could create this universe where people do these terrible things to each other, like genocides and, and so forth? Um, and we've looked at some ways where it might be the, the world we live in where moral evil exists might be still be compatible with the um, said creator of this universe that is um, being described as all good, all knowing, and all powerful. There may be a way moral evil and this God could be compatible with one another. Um, but what about natural evil? What about all the intense pain and suffering that is caused by the events of nature? A tree falls on someone. Um, there's a forest fire. And think about all of the suffering that exists because of a forest fire, all those animals that can't escape the flames. Think of earthquakes and cancers and um, all of these things that exist because of the laws of nature. How do you explain that? God created this world or this universe. This universe has natural laws. And because of these natural laws, um, there's a lot of suffering that seems to take place for no purpose. How do you explain that? And one way uh, somebody might sort of address this is with what's called the natural law explanation. And they might say, you know, you're right. You combine earthquakes and gravity and you're going to get a situation like this. And that's, that's not good. Um, kids and cancer. Yeah, really not good. Um, but they might say the a universe without natural laws would be a whole heck of a lot worse. Um, the, it's the natural laws of the universe that allow us to even survive in it. We need gravity. So yes, combine gravity and an earthquake and the outcome is not good, but imagine there being no gravity. We wouldn't be able to exist. Um, we, wouldn't even be, we wouldn't be able to exist if there weren't some stability and predictability to the way that things work in our universe. So one explanation they might offer, a justification, is that yes, natural laws bring about um, unfortunate consequences sometimes, but those natural laws are necessary for us to survive, for us to have any kind of life at all. Um, and they might point out that it's likely impossible for there to be natural laws that provide some amount of free will, I'm sorry, some amount of stability, and at the same time, a free will to exist that's not bound by those natural laws and not have any risks. So yes, um, we have gravity and we have earthquakes working in combination, but we also have um, human beings deciding to build structures in a particular way, in a particular place that might not be the best decision. Right? So we need gravity and the earth, earthquakes are what uh, forms the earth. Maybe we shouldn't build multi-story buildings in places where there are um, earthquakes. Maybe we shouldn't build homes right on the banks of rivers that regularly flood. Maybe we shouldn't um, put large populations of people near volcanoes. Uh, and the, you can see how the list would go on and on and on here. In other words, a lot of times the quote-unquote natural evil that takes place isn't entirely separate from bad decision making and maybe even moral evil. So they might point to something like famines and say you can call famines a natural evil but the reality is that famine exists because of moral failings of others around the world to take care of people when they are in need. Um, you can say that can I mean, cancer in kids is awful and it's unexplainable, but it can oftentimes be traced back, as many cancers can be, to environmental conditions that we've created that lead to these cancers, things like lead paint and so forth. Um, so one, exp one, that's not an explanation, one justification for natural evil is going to be it's very difficult to separate out decisions that people have made that put them in vulnerable positions with the natural laws. Um, that sometimes people suffer from natural events as they do because they've made decisions up to that point that were not good decisions for them. So that maybe the evil that's caused by uh, natural laws isn't entirely separate from the decisions that people make.